Thanks, it's day eight of vloggery and it's half past seven in the morning. Hence is why I'm looking so sleepy. Um, it's lovely and cool. I'm trying to see if I can get the uh, the sunrise on video rather than the sunset, but I don't know. I think it's going to rise behind the mountain, so I might not see it, but I'm going to walk down a bit and see. Well, it looks like it's a bit of a disaster because the sun's going to rise behind the mountains. So I'm not going to see anything. Right, folks, it is a disaster. Um, I can't see anything because of the mountains. I never thought of that, but never mind. But there's loads of people, well not loads of people, there's a few people out jogging and walking. Um, which is an ideal time in the morning to do it. Because I say it's nice and cool. So, I'm going to go back to the apartment and I've got till about 12 o'clock to, to leave. Mm -hmm. I think that's meant to be a festive Jesus, I don't know. So behind me is the uh, apartments I'm staying in, they're called the Park Santiago 4. Really nice. Um, we normally stay in uh, rented apartments, which is fine because they're dead quiet and there's nobody there, but these are used by the package holiday companies. So really nice, but the only downside is there's sunbed wars in the morning. I'll let you see when I go back in. Even at half seven in the morning, there's people down putting sunbeds or reserving sunbeds with towels. So that's the only downside. But fine and handy, this is the gate to the apartment here, so right on the front, so it's two seconds from everything. Right, let's see how many some beds are reserved. Got all these ones there. There's people in swimming. All these ones that are turned down. There's towels on them already. But I suppose a lot of the customers here are pensioners, so they're here for most of the winter, so they'll have a routine like back home. They get up early, go for a walk, a jog, a swim. So ideal for them, at least it gives them something to during the winter rather than sit at home being cold. The temperature is so nice, so nice. I'm gonna miss this in the mornings. Right up in there, that's the Wi-Fi zone, that's where I have to upload my videos, but because so many people use it, it's really slow and that's why I've only been doing two or three minute videos. So that's the uh, or Wi Fi chair. I'll just show you how quick it is from my apartment. My apartment's just around right here. Right folks, this has been my book. Yes, I've been reading a book on holiday, An American Caddy in St. Andrews by Oliver Horowitz. Now, it's, as it says, about an American caddy's adventures in St. Andrews. And it's been really good. It's kept me going this whole holiday and I've marked off loads of pages there. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to go and visit the haunts that uh, Ollie Horowitz speaks about in his book. I actually tweeted him to say how much I enjoyed his book and he actually tweeted me back, which was... Uh, Nice of him. Right, I've got about an hour and a half left, so um, I'm going to, I think, nip along to McDonald's and have breakfast, I think. I've not done that all week. I'm tempted to have a full English, um, but... Nah, better not. I've got the usual dilemma, though. Um, what to wear on the flight home because you leave here and the airport in Tenerife is always so hot uh, especially because I'm going to be there from kind of mid-afternoon at the hottest part of the day um, so last year I travelled in tracky bottoms and it was just too hot but then when you arrive in Glasgow 
Um, it's absolutely Baltic. So what I've done is I've, I'm going to travel in shorts and t-shirt and then I'm going to pack my um, hoodie, my jacket and my tracky bottoms in my hand luggage and just get changed when I get back to Glasgow, I think. And just one final thing. This is Vlogarif Day 8, I think. Yes, 8. But this probably won't go up until um, Monday because I'll lose the Wi-Fi connection now until I get back to my house. Because uh, the hotel, I'm staying overnight in Glasgow tonight, uh, but the Wi-Fi there is pretty pants. Um, so this will go up tomorrow. So this will probably be a longer vid because it'll be vlogger Eve day eight, and I'll also be the travelling home, and maybe tomorrow's vlogger Eve day nine. Add it on as well. I don't know. It'll just be a longer video than normal because the time I can upload this, I'll be home in my house, and I'll be Monday probably. So. Does that make sense? I don't know. Right, that's it folks. Time to say goodbye to room 1101. Not 101, 1101. Um, I thought it was going to last a week without getting messages from work, but I got a message from work today about meetings tomorrow that I've now got to go to because people are off sick and off. Honestly, it's just ruined the end of my holiday. Never mind. Never mind. Let's go and check out and uh, head to the airport. If you hear those drums and whistles, it's either coming from the football stadium or uh, there was a protest with uh, the cleaners. So I'm not sure. Our food from one week ago, cold, wet, miserable, back at Glasgow. Left 26 degrees, back home, minus one. <sighs> okay, folks, it's Vloggerief day eight, stroke nine. Um, got back from Tenerife Lake last night, had to stay overnight in Glasgow, um, and instead of coming straight home, I had to go to Perth for a meeting um, with my suitcase and everything so I'm pretty knackered and sore throat and I'm just going to wait to go to my bed however I have received a package um, in the post so I'm just going to go and open it to see what it could be it feels like a jumper or something um, I wonder who it's from Adam and Brian. Mm -hmm. Right, <clears throat> let's have a wee look as we open it. And oh, it looks like. Oh, it's, could it be another one weird? One of these weird um, fish things. It is indeed. Oh, look at this. The new. A new weird fish top. Oh, that is superb. Look at that. Thanks so much, guys. It's so much appreciated. I've still got the other one. I still wear it. Um, this is a new one for the collection. They are so cosy for the winter. Um, so I'll actually be wearing that tomorrow. Um, thanks, guys. That's really appreciated. You shouldn't do these kind of things. But um, thank you very much indeed. That's dead cosy. Oh, thank you very much. And... Um, on that happy note, that ends Vloggerief, the series. Today was the finale. <laughs> so I um, hope you enjoyed the wee videos. Um, as I said before, I couldn't make them too long because uh, the Wi-Fi in the hotel just took ages to download the videos. So I just kept them to two and three minutes. So that's why there's not an awful lot of content in them. They're just quick um, update videos, really. So that's the end of uh, the wee trip. I'm going to take a day off tomorrow because I was meant to be off today, but because I had to go to that meeting, I'm going to take tomorrow off instead and get sorted and then back to work on Wednesday. So thank you for watching the Vlog Arif series. Tune in again in July.
when the return of Vlogger Reef will maybe start again. But uh, what a nice way to end. Thank you very much again, Karen and Brian. That's a great present. Really do appreciate it. And Merry Christmas to you all.